There's lots of options for coloring your icing, but gel-based icing colors like Colorite and icing colors are perfect because they're concentrated and you only have to use a small amount and they will not thin down the consistency of your icing like grocery store liquid food colorings will do. This is especially important when you are making deep or brilliant colors because they're gonna require a lot more icing color to achieve the shade you're looking for. Now I'm gonna show you how to color icing. It's really simple to do. I have a bowl of buttercream icing, my angled spatula, I have some color right color and icing color and toothpicks that I'm going to use to dip into my icing color and add to my buttercream. The paper towel here is just for my used toothpicks. I don't want to double dip because I could contaminate my icing color. I'm using a teal icing color and I'm going to show you how to make a new color by combining two different colors here in a minute. So I'm dipping my toothpick into the icing color. And remember, it's really concentrated, so you don't need to use very much. We'll see what happens here. Okay. Start to mix it up. You want to add just a little bit at a time, because within a couple of hours, the color is actually going to deepen. So keep that in mind. So you can see I have a really pretty kind of a pastel teal here. Not quite totally mixed up. All right, that's pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow color right just to show you how this works. It's a nice little squeeze bottle and all you have to do is just squeeze it and you can add a drop at a time. I'm just gonna add one drop because I wanna show you what happens when you mix the yellow and the teal together. We can actually create a whole new color One other thing you want to um, keep in mind as you're making colored icings for your project, it's important to make enough of the icing all at once because if you're going to go back and try and make the icing color again, it's going to be difficult to duplicate it. So this is kind of turning my, my icing a little bit limey, which is really pretty. Wow, I like that. I went from teal to a pretty little limey green. I want to give you a few tips on creating deep, rich, brilliant colors. If you know that you're going to need more than just a toothpick full of icing color, you can actually use a butter knife. Just dip the tip of the butter knife into your icing color and then go ahead and add it to your buttercream. If you think your color is not quite dark enough, let it set overnight because it's going to intensify and darken. If you're making brown, black, or even red icing, it's best to start with chocolate buttercream. It tastes really great, and you're not gonna have to add as much icing color to it. Sometimes, red icing color can make your buttercream taste a little bit bitter, so you're gonna want to use no-taste icing color. I wanna show you how to make a really dark icing. I'm going to make black icing so you can see how much icing color it takes, even when we start with chocolate buttercream. Opening up my icing, and I'm going to use a butter knife because I know I'm going to need a lot of this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a pretty good amount of it and drop it into my chocolate. As much of that icing color off as I can because I think I'm going to need it. And remember, this is going to, this chocolate icing base is going to make your black icing taste a whole lot better. You can see how the chocolate buttercream is really picking up the black. And again, if you think this is not quite dark enough, you can clean off your butter knife and dip it back into your black icing color and add some additional. But keep in mind that this is going to darken in a couple of hours and overnight it's probably going to be pure black. And finally, I want you to know if you just need a small amount of a very dark icing or a really brilliant icing, you might want to consider purchasing ready-to-use icing tubes or pouches. They're very convenient and it's no work at all. This is my bowl of black icing after sitting for a couple of hours. You can see how it's developed from a dark brown to a nice rich black. 
Coloring or icing is a great way to customize your cake designs, and you can get really creative with your color combinations too. You're gonna wanna have some fun with this. You can even create your own signature colors.